This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this video, I will review the requirements for formatting figures, provide an example of what a properly formatted figure looks like, and demonstrate how to implement these settings in an existing ETD. The use of figures refers to any photographs, charts, diagrams, graphs, maps, or other illustrative materials within the document. Generally, if it's not a table, it's a figure. If you did not create the figure, you need to include a copyright permission letter in an appendix. Figures should be placed within the document as close as possible to the text referring to them, or collected within an appendix. If the figure does not fit on one page, you may move it to the next page, or turn the page to landscape orientation. Each figure should have a corresponding label and number. The figure title should also be placed below the figure itself. Each figure should have adequate and consistent space to separate it from the body text of the document. We recommend two spaces both above and below. I'll show you an example of a formatted figure within the sample ETD, which is available on the College of Graduate Studies website. Within the sample ETD, you can see a properly formatted figure. From the list of figures, there is a link to figure 1. The title is placed below the figure, with any sources or notes placed between the figure and the title. As the figure is too large to fit below the body text, it has been moved to the next page to prevent it from breaking over the page. I'll show you how to use the caption style to create a linked figure and use auto numbering. In the Word document, you'll first want to turn on the Show Hide All Formatting button to view any pre-existing formatting. For this tutorial, I'm going to insert some clip art. With the cursor placed where I want the photo to appear, I'm going to select the Insert tab in the Home ribbon and choose Clip Art. Once the image is in place, I'm going to select it and go to the References tab. From there, click Insert Caption. Change the label to Figure and the position to Below Selected Item. Click OK and you should see Figure 1 appear below the image. You can place your cursor after Figure 1 and type the figure title. It should still be in the caption style. When you insert a caption, Word generates the caption style automatically. You can now go to the Home tab and select the caption style from the Styles menu and right-click the style to modify it. Because it is based on normal, it should retain the font choice used for the body text. However, it may be in a different color and font size. You may change the font size to between 10 and 12 point. If you choose to use a color for captions, be sure to use the same color for all table and figure captions. When you generate the list of figures, it will now include a link to the caption style for the figure title. The caption style will also automatically keep track of which figure is which number and keep them in sequential order. You can see that when I insert a figure caption above this one, it automatically renumbers them. To update the figure caption, highlight the number and right-click to open the editing menu. From here, you can choose to update field. If the figure does not fit on the page, you can also go to the page layout menu and change the page orientation to landscape. You can view the video tutorial on page orientation to see how I use section breaks to turn one page to landscape or a custom page size while keeping the rest of the document in portrait. This concludes the video tutorial for figures. If you have any further questions, please use the ETD help request form available through the Thesis and Dissertation Services website. In the next video, I will cover how to format equations.